<laughs> that's all I need is dog footage and that's it. That'll make my video. Oh my god. <laughs> so we are here now. This looks very nice. I'll, I always like a good cloudy day. And look at it. Look at the bridge. It's right there. Can you, can you guys see it? Oh, I didn't see it. <laughs> this was honestly like a nice quick little getaway. So I decided to visit my sister. She lives in Berkeley, which is near San Francisco. The first thing I told her is like, we should definitely check this place out. And the first thing she told me shocked me. She's been living here for a couple of years and she's never been to Battery Spencer. Everyone who lives in San Francisco in Salcito and the neighboring hoods of San Francisco has been there. I'm surprised she hasn't been there. So I decided to take her. Not gonna lie, the majority of the days I did end up walking my sister's dog a lot. And I actually enjoyed it. Their dog is pretty damn cool. His name is Milo and he's an awesome, awesome beagle that I took this awesome, awesome photo of. You gotta check it out. Look at him. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I'm looking at my screen and I look crazy. There's so much wind noise right now. We continued our hike all the way down to where Battery Spencer is. Now, if you've never been here, this place is such a nice view of the Bay Area. Like the bridge, the city itself, and you just get this large expansive view of the whole area. And my God, I gotta say, it, lo it looks pretty damn cool. They have all these cool locks like locked up on the side of the fence. It's right by the bridge and it looks pretty damn awesome. I know I'm like saying cool or awesome all the time, but I mean, no, look, look at it. It looks pretty cool and awesome. This place is cool. Wouldn't you agree? Look at it. There's a thing over here. Well, it's just a little hole, I guess. <laughs> There's some stairs and a thingy. Yes, we can definitely see over here. Nice. Let's say if you wanted to check out over here. Huh? There's like a little thing over here. like some history right there. But yeah, the view here at Battery Spencer, woo, the pictures I've taken here. Another 15 minute drive down the road takes us to another cool spot, which is called Point Bonita Lighthouse, baby. How are you feeling? Me? Yes. Awesome. All right, cool. That's all. That's all. That my job is done. <laughs> There's like these cool little signs everywhere, and you'll notice these when you go hiking down there. They kind of have like a phone number that you could just dial, and it'll just straight up start spouting words about like the history of the lighthouse or the history of San Francisco. It was definitely a cool way to just, I guess, learn more about what's in the area. I'm a sucker for that type of stuff. The relative ease of building the first lighthouse on the lightly sloped hill made way for what was to become an engineer's nightmare. To reach the new location at the end of the spit, much preparation was required. Notice how the path winds its way among jagged rock. The engineers building the lighthouse at the time could never have foreseen the extent of the geological calamity, which was to occur just three decades later. Official Point Bonita log entry April 18th, 1906. Terrible earthquake occurred at 5.12 a.m. doing considerable damage to the assistance quarters, shaking the gable's end out and cracking it so badly that it was with difficulty that the families were taken out without injury. Half the city was in flames mm -hmm. and the residents of Point Bonita could only watch helplessly. Milo!
<laughs> that is amazing. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Guess we gotta come back. <laughs> oh, look at look. Oh, this is creepy as hell if I just did a video like this. <laughs> Unfortunately, once we got to where we needed to be, which is the giant cave, it was unfortunately closed, which sucks. But good news is I need to go back to San Francisco. So there's that. There's another time. But yeah, I'm glad that she enjoyed herself and I did too. After that, my sister had to go pick up her kids. I was just kind of in her area where she lived and I just started walking. That's what I do. I walk and get lost and take photos. That's that's who I am. That's, that, 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 that's me, I guess. <laughs> so I continue to or Words. Albany bulb. I guess that's what it's called. I literally googled it right now. It was such a nice day. It was cloudy. I don't know. It looked pretty nice, I guess. I was here it was just nice to listen to the waves listen to all the creaks and cracks of this cool little statue and just chill you know what I mean uh, a lot of people don't do that a lot of people don't just walk turn off their phone just chillax <laughs> just sit on a rock and watch the waves go by but yeah that was pretty fun just to go out there and walk my sister's dog that's literally all I did I just walked her dog none of this ever happened you hear me Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.